Hello and welcome to another video from Spain. Today doing something a little bit different. Um, instead of going up north out of Calpe, heading south, going up a climb to Guadalest, which is a, a sort of an ancient town. Which is pretty popular with tourists. This road might be a bit busier than the others I've been on, but it definitely will be. And then up to Confrides, just to extend the climb a bit. So it works out about 20, 25 miles of climbing. Um, average about 5%, so not too much. So yeah, just a, a steady away climb really today. Um, hopefully there'll be something to film in Guadalest. It's supposed to be very pretty. And uh, yeah, we'll see what it's like right at the top. There's a little dip in the top. So you descend for a couple of K, then ascend that same descent again. And then it's a descent for like 25 miles. All the way back to Altea. So yeah, I've had to come up to Altea um, from Calpe, which is a busy road, so that's never fun. And we'll have to go back that way as well. So over there on the right, that's the Bernier climb that I did the other day, Bernier Port. And you can actually go to the Bernier Fort as an extension off this ride, but it's two miles, I think. And it is sort of double digit percent all the way. So I didn't fancy that, if I'm <laughs> already doing this ride, it'll be 70 miles total, 7,000 feet of climbing. So yeah, this ride's already 7,000 feet in 35 miles, which is enough for today, I think. There's a view in front there. I think we're just gonna uh, get some miles done, get some elevation and see what views we can take for some uh, film of. I'd love to say I know where I am, but I don't. We've not got to go Adelest yet. These are the views. Just went through as well, a, uh, well about 10k ago. A fairly industrial looking town. And since we've passed that, it's just been lovely and quiet. Which is good, just what I wanted. The mile markers are counting down, so it's five. I think that's to Guadalest. So I think it's 5k to Guadalest. It might even be the town that's just in front of us now, which in just a moment you'll see on my right. The white buildings up there, I think it's that. There's a little viewpoint here, so I just stopped for a little while. Um, just have a look at the view. Unbelievable. And there's a diagram here of all the different um, all the different climbs. So yeah, Guadalest is is there, which is not far from the town, so I presume that is the town of Guadalest. A couple of cyclists there just descending. Yeah. It's just really peaceful and nice. Right, let's carry on to uh, to Guadalest and try and have a coffee. I don't usually like I don't usually like stopping when um, when I'm on a climb, but this one's so big, I'm going to stop a couple of times and just grab a drink and look at the views. It's a shame not to. Just at Guadalest now. There's a view back down into the valley. Only about half the climbing done. Just leaving Guadalest now. I didn't film it, but I had a coffee and a fancy lemon. Didn't have anything to eat yet. Do that at the next stop. Considering this is supposed to be a little bit of a tourist hotspot, all the tour companies do like um, trips out here and stuff from Benidorm and Calpe. It is really quiet, really quiet. You know, it's midday, the cafes and restaurants, I think it'd be a bit, a bit more full. But in general, it has got quiet over the last couple of days, I think. With the bank holiday on Saturday and then again on Tuesday, it was quite busy. Um, but the hotel, for example, now, last night and this morning at breakfast was really quite quiet. Which I'm not complaining about, it's way nicer when it's quiet. Just had to stop after I saw this view down to the water down there. I'll put on the screen where this is, but it's absolutely beautiful. I have seen that on the map when I was looking at the route. So yeah, I thought I'd definitely have to stop and show you this. Just stunning every direction. Okay, so I think this is the town of Confides. Oh, there's some trees. I will show you in a minute. See, so yeah, I think this is the town of Confides. Someone's recommended a restaurant here to have something to eat, but it's only been like half an hour since I last stopped, so I don't think I'm gonna bother. I'm sure there'll be something else later. There are some dark clouds ahead. I've been lucky so far though with the weather. 
whenever there's been clouds. It's um, it's quite a lot cooler up here in the mountains than it was down on the coast. Really noticeable, especially in the shade. In the sun it's all right, but it does get a bit chilly in the shade. So I might need a jacket for the descent if that cloud is there. So here we are, the town of Confrides. So yeah, it's up on the left to the, uh, to the village. It's a hotel here too, but it's not a lot to do here if you do stay here. Does that mean 10k to the summit? I don't know. This must be the restaurant people mentioned. Bikes on the wall. Glad I didn't wait for it, it looks pretty close. This is the end of Confrides. And we didn't see another soul in the ghost town, but it is siesta. It's about 20 to 1. I really want to know what this sign means. I'll have to look that up. Okay, we're at the first summit. Porta Confrides, nearly a thousand meters high, which is the highest we've been so far this trip. So yeah, top of the first climb. So now we have to descend and then do another climb um, that takes us just a little bit higher than this. It's about 900 feet of climbing for that. Um, and then it's one long descent down towards Benidorm. And then we'll skirt around from Benidorm because we don't want to go into the city. Skirt around the back roads to Altea and then the busy road back from Altea, which is never fun, but we'll get the job done. So here's the view from the top of the first, uh, top of the first peak. Yeah, pretty stunning. You can see the motorbikers on the road that we're going to descend. So yeah, let's, um, let's do that now. A descent, it's like being on a movie set. It was absolutely stunning. And uh, well, we're still quite high. You can see the views. It's just it's absolutely beautiful. But yeah, the descent was crazy. It was like, 270 degree turns in there, an amazing surface, no traffic. Right, it's still going on now, but not, not to quite the extent. But yeah, it was just like being on a movie set, like a Bond movie or something. Really properly stunning. Biggest climb of the day, I think now. Sort of, well, steepest, not biggest. Got a 10% sign there. And this is because we need to get from one mountain to another to descend. The elevation's calmed down a bit now. It's down at like two or three percent. Just going through a town now and it's just so quiet. I just can't believe it. It's just can't believe it's so quiet. I wish in the UK you could go through towns and villages and they'd be this quiet. I really do. Okay, final climb and it's the Port de Tudons and there is a sign, so let's show you this. So yeah, as you can see, average 6%. We're going up, what's that, 300 meters? So that's about 900 feet, like I said. Um, Max gradients, nine or ten percent. Remember, those are max, so hopefully not too long at those. Right, let's get on with it. So, we made it to the top. Pod two doms. Little guys sitting over there, so I don't fancy filming the view. I'm going to stick the camera on now for the descent, but hopefully, we'll stop at a cafe on the way. So, yeah, it's just a descent all the way now towards Benidorm. Um, there is a little bit of a climb, but it's nothing compared to what we've been doing. Yeah, over a thousand meters. Right, let's carry on. just descended now through, I think it's called Sela, which is that little town on the hill there, village. Um, but I thought I'd stop and just show you the view of the mountains back into the mountains where we've come from. Yes, yeah, really nice, although it is a bit chilly. It's uh, in the shade on the way down mostly. Seems like I climbed in the, in the red hot baking sun and descended in the shade. I think I did it the wrong way around today. But yeah, it's been good. Um, 
So yeah, we're just gonna see if there's anywhere to stop to eat now. It's mainly downhill still, tiny little ramp before we get to Benidorm area, but nothing like what we've been doing. So it should be easy. So we're just dropping down into Altea now. Being down here it is a lot, lot warmer. Although it is quite windy. Um, I think it's been a headwind most of the way back. But yeah, it's so much warmer than up in the mountains. It's lovely. But you can see the sea, you can see the sea in front of us. Just make out the Rocky Calpe as well then, just over the horizon. Just on the boring bit of the ride now, before we get to Altea. Following alongside the motorway. But yeah, I think uh, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to go find something to eat now. But as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.